So Felix, how does it feel to have signed your new contract extension? Yeah, I'm obviously really happy about it. Um, at a club where I've been my whole life. Um, so obviously delighted to have signed another two years and hopefully I can be here for a while. And uh, yeah, hopefully over the next two years we can win some more trophies and I can be a part of that. So delighted. Last season you were pushed up to the top of the order in the county championship. Yeah. Is that your preferred role? <sighs> Yikes. Um, yeah, I mean, I obviously love opening. Um, it's the spot where I started. I then obviously moved down, which I mean, I think ideally I, I would have liked to stay at the top, but you know, these, these things happen and I felt probably more comfortable opening. Um, so hopefully now kind of keep the momentum going, just keep batting at the top, but obviously whatever the team require, I'll be there. You ended the season with 726 runs in the Red Bull competition, mm. including a career best at Gloucestershire. How happy were, that, were you with that con contribution? Yeah, it was obviously I was pretty euphoric. Um, it was a it was a good season, but at the same time, I would have liked uh, us to win the championship. And this season, you know, I'm obviously individually, I'll be looking to push push harder and get more runs and you know push further. But as a side as well, more importantly, if we can if we can all just get that a little bit better. We've been pretty close two years in a row now, and I think it's time that we just get that 1% better and, and get over the line. You're also a big part of the successful One Day Cup campaign. How fun was that month? Yeah, so that was a, yeah, that was a great, great month. It was really good fun. Um, obviously playing with lots of young guys and uh, being led by Nick, who obviously isn't normally the captain. So um, I think we all learnt a lot. And again, you know, we were very close. Obviously, it was a real shame not to get to the final. But I think it's a really good sign of potentially the improvement from the year before. And hopefully we can all improve again. And again, next year, hopefully get that one stage further. You've sort of touched on it, but what are your ambitions for 2023 and moving forward? Yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess the main thing is, as a team, hopefully, we, I'd love to win the championship. Obviously, we all would. Um, and then, obviously, love, again, to win the T20 or get to finals day and the same with the 50 over competition. Personally, I think I'm going into this year just trying to do better than last year. Um, but then, you know, there's always going to be different scenarios, different situations that can, that can change that. I'm not a massive goal setter, but I just want to contribute to the team, stay in the team, for one. Um, and just contribute as much as possible with bat and ball and hopefully we'll get a trophy at the end of it. And just finally, how, how's winter training going and how exciting is this lead up to the season? Yeah, winter training's been good. It's been uh, pretty challenging as it always is, you know, trying to shed a few pounds. Um, yeah, a bit of a grind, but it's been, yeah, it's been good fun. You get into a bit of a rhythm with it, a bit of a routine. Um, there's only been probably six or seven of us in, so pretty tight, tight knit um, group now. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been good, challenging, which is the point, and hopefully we'll come out of it and have improved. So yeah, it's been good fun.